Hello, my name is Celito Rodriguez, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to we're going to install Windows 10 as a virtual machine. Here is the agenda for uh, for this tutorial. We are going to download Windows 10 Preview, which is already out at the, the time of this recording. Uh, and again, for those of you who may be wondering, well, what do you mean Windows 10? Well, yeah, so Windows 10 is coming soon. It's the replacement for Windows 8.1. Uh, there's no Windows 9. So apparently, uh, for marketing reasons, Microsoft decided not to have a Windows 9. Uh, we're going to download and install a program called Oracle VirtualBox, which is a virtualization program. And um, so we're going to install the Windows 10 as a virtual machine and basically enjoy Windows 10. The first thing we're going to do is uh, just go to uh, Internet Explorer or Chrome or whatever, go to Google and look for the download of the Windows 10 technical preview. So if you just go download Windows 10, you're going to come to this link. So make sure you go to the you know windows.microsoft.com um, uh, link and um, you're going to come to this window. Uh, it is important that you have, you need to have a Microsoft account, whether it is a Hotmail or Windows Live or uh, one of those Microsoft free accounts in order to uh, to do this, and you need to sign in. So uh, the first thing is you need to go into the Windows Insider program, so you need to sign into your, again, to your Microsoft account. And um, so I already signed in to my account and went into this. Um, actually, when you go to this page, to the um, sign-in experience, and, and then you click on sign in, um, if you have a Microsoft account, just make sure you sign in and you'll get to this page over here. You're going to scroll down and you're going to click on the link that says uh, Get Starter PC. And if you scroll down a little bit more, um, then you're going to click on this link over here that says Get the Preview. Now, obviously, if you were installing on top of Windows 8, Windows 7, you could, you may not want to do a, an upgrade at this point since it's just a preview. What you want to download is the ISO files. And uh, if you don't know what an ISO file is, basically this is an image that it's kind of similar to uh, the content of a DVD um, to install an operating system. Anyway, so you click on this link. And uh, if you go down, then here you have uh, different languages in which you can get these files. Um, you don't actually need the product key to install it, uh, but anyway, it's uh, you may need it to activate it. So it, it's a good idea to um, keep this handy uh, just in case you need it. So you know, copy it on Notepad or something, and, and then just keep it there. So I'm gonna click on the English link and. Um, here you are faced with two choices. Uh, your computer is, um, you either have a 64-bit or a 32-bit uh, um, uh, architecture. Um, so your computer, your CPU must support either 32-bit or 64. Uh, I, I'm not gonna get into details explaining this, so if you don't know whatever you have, uh, to be on the safe side, just download this x86, which basically means that, you know, a 32-bit, and, and it's backward compatible. So even if you have a newer PC and you have a 64-bit, it will be compatible with this 32-bit um, one. So just basically click on this um, icon, and um, depending on the browser that you have, whether it is Chrome or, or Safari or Firefox, uh, this may be a little bit different how you download stuff but anyway so I'm assuming that you already know how to download stuff from the internet so make sure you save this uh, as an ISO file uh, choose a folder on your computer and make sure where you put this because we're gonna need this uh, later on when you when we install Windows 8 now in my case I am NOT going to uh, download this because I already have a folder on my computer uh, where I uh, I already downloaded this Windows Preview, and, and this is a 
uh, kind of like um, you know it's a big download it's about three gigabytes so it will take a while to download and it also depends on the uh, the speed of your internet so you're gonna need that and the other thing you're gonna need uh, now that we are here on on the web it's uh, you're gonna go to um, you can go directly to virtualbox.org uh, or just Google it up. But in either case, you're going to write to this VirtualBox um, uh, window. And what you're going to do is you're going to download uh, this VirtualBox program. So because I have an oper a Windows operating system, then this is what I'm going to download. Obviously, if you had either like Mac, uh, Mac OS or Linux or whatever, then you, you go there. But in our case, just click on this link and you can either save this on your computer and then install it or you could uh, directly run it from the web and, and, and install the program but uh, it is very easy straightforward process just download and install this virtual box and uh, I'm not gonna go into the details of installing this um, to be honest with you if you have never even downloaded or installed a program then this uh, whole tutorial may not be for you um, but anyway so um, very easy to download and install that stuff. Once you download and install that VirtualBox program and you open it up, then it's going to come to something like this. Uh, you're going to come to uh, to this window. And um, so here in this window, um, I have already created a Windows uh, a 10 machine. We're going to create so in your case, this is going to be a complete empty window. Um, just click on this uh, new button over here. And you need to enter a name for your Windows. Um, I'm going to call this Win 10 VM2. And this is Microsoft. And then I need to choose. Um, so I'm going to choose the uh, Windows 10 32-bit. And then click on Next. And it is uh, recommending that I use one gigabyte of RAM for this virtual machine. That's the minimum. But again, if this this is just a training uh, a video, so um, it's all set for this. If you're going to use this virtual machine as a, you know, if you're going to be installing programs and using it heavily, then I might recommend that you use more than that. But also, it all depends on how much RAM you have on your computer. In my laptop, I have eight gigabyte of RAM, so. I can afford, you know, to take um, either that or even a little bit more. You know, I could just go ahead and and use a little bit more. I'm going to use like 1.6 uh, uh, gigabyte. Now, keep in mind that whatever the amount of RAM that you use for your virtual machine, when that virtual machine is in use, then that memory will be discounted from the total of uh, uh, physical memory on your computer. So when you're running that virtual machine, it's like when you run in a program, then basically, you know, that program will consume, uh, consume, you know, the amount of memory that you have assigned to to it. So anyway, click on next, and uh, yes, we need to create a virtual drive. A virtual drive it's uh, similar to a physical drive in the sense that this is where you're going to be installing the OS and all the other applications. So I'm going to click on create, and uh, VirtualBox supports, you know, several virtualization uh, format. Uh, VMDKs if you have you know uh, workstation VHD and HDD uh, and all the stuff you know Microsoft used the VHD one a anyway then all the programs use this we're not gonna get into details of this just leave the uh, the default one and um, just click on next and uh, you wanna use dynamically allocated drive that basically means that the hard drive will start small and then it will grow progressively as you install stuff uh, fixed disk that means that if you use an amount of hard drive space it will be allocated uh, from the beginning and um, this may be good in some cases but most of the time dynamic allocated is what you want to do and that's what we are going to do here uh, click on next and here I am going to so this name of my virtual machine I am going to select the folder where I want this virtual machine if you don't um, uh, choose uh, your own uh, space then it'll go directly into the virtual machine uh, directory and uh, on the C drive so I don't I don't want to do that I, I do have 
a USB drive when I'm putting uh, putting all these things. So I actually have a folder called uh, VM Box VMs, and I created a folder called VM uh, before I started all this. I created a folder called Win 10 VM2. So all the content of this virtual machine it's going to be in that folder. If I need to have multiple copies of this virtual machine, I just need to back up this folder. This is one of the beauties of virtualization. Again, this is the name of my virtual machine. Click and save. And uh, here is the whole path. And um, this machine will have a hard drive that is uh, 32 gigabyte. Uh, that means the, the, the hard drive will grow up to 2 uh, uh, gigabyte. Uh, and, and you can create all the hard drives later on, you know. So uh, for this uh, training video and, and, and for practicing purposes, this is more than enough. So I'm going to click and create. And um, that's it. So uh, basically, the virtual machine is created. Now, this is an empty virtual machine. We have not installed an operating system yet. That's what we are going to, uh, to do now. So uh, the, my, the machine is here. And then I'm going to click on Start to basically start this virtual machine. This is similar to basically you know, pushing the power button on a physical computer. Um, because I'm going to install a uh, an operating system since there's nothing on this virtual machine I need to choose the location where my media is um, if this was a physical computer most likely I would have a DVD on the DVD uh, ROM drive in this case what I do have is an ISO which is similar to kind of like a software version of a DVD in that case so anyway I, I am going to uh, go to my VirtualBox VMs, go to ISO, and here is that Windows 10 technical preview that I downloaded uh, for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to click on Open, and, and there it is. Click on Start, and this will start the installation process of Windows 10. Uh, of, if you have ever installed an operating system, a Microsoft operating system, whether that is uh, Windows 7 or Windows um, 8 uh, the installation process over here with uh, virtual uh, with Windows 10 it, it's very uh, very similar so uh, not many uh, new enhancement when it comes to uh, difference when it comes to the installation so um, click on next to continue with the installation of the um, operating system and just basically click on install now button right here and um, we're just gonna give it a second all right so here is the I accept the uh, license terms agreement from Microsoft which you you do have to accept and um, we are doing a complete install custom install like a new install uh, because I'm booting from the DVD even if I wanted to I could not do an upgrade an upgrade basically means that you already have an operating system and you put it on top of that but I couldn't do that even if I wanted to in this case so uh, just click on the custom install here is that virtual hard drive that I created uh, a minute ago and it is a um, 32 gigabyte drive just click on next and here is the installation process this is going to take a while uh, on this computer, this whole process may take up to 40 minutes. Uh, and, and again, this is a decent um, laptop, but so that means that in, it, it may take even longer. It, it may take less. It depends on the, uh, whatever it is that you have for um, the power of your physical computer. So this is going to take a while. So what I'm going to do, and this is one of the beauties of uh, recording, so I am going to stop this video and uh, actually I'm going to uh, pause this video and then I will continue when uh, this has been installed. So see you in a bit. Okay, so uh, the virtual machine, it's um, almost installed, still, you know, some minutes to go. But anyway, so while this was going, uh, this whole process took like about 30 minutes. Uh, the virtual machine rebooted uh, automatically and and then it came to uh, to this process over here it, it, in this video it, even though it seemed as if it happened uh, right away but anyway so I paused the video and that's why so uh, this is something that um, it will take some time 
so if you are going to um, to practice with this make sure that you have uh, a time to work on this anyway so uh, the machine rebooted and it's getting ready to uh, basically proceed with the installation of Windows uh, 10 we're not quite there yet we're not finished uh, so I'm going to uh, pause the video again and I'll be right back alright so uh, the machine rebooted again after doing some installation and then it'll it, it came to this window so here we're uh, kind of like ready to continue with the setup of Windows um, it is um, if you're not an experienced uh, Windows user uh, it is recommended to use the express setting and that's what we're going to do in this video for uh, demonstration purposes uh, if you are obviously more experienced then you can just go ahead and do the customize option so no, click on this button and um, uh, the first thing that you are going to be asked to do is obviously to um, uh, to set up your account your account in which you are going to uh, to log in now Microsoft expects you to to log in with your Microsoft account um, so uh, there are many benefits of doing this but um, anyways we're not gonna use that Microsoft account I'm talking about your Hotmail Windows Live or Outlook account so what we're gonna do we are going to create a new account but again we're not gonna create a new uh, live account or anything like that we're going to log in with a local account um, so I'm not gonna use this form to create any account or anything like that so I'm gonna scroll down over here and the option that I want is this one that says sign in without a Microsoft account so we're going to sign into the computer without um, basically um, a live account and then we're gonna have to create our own locally so I'm gonna click on this and then here basically just enter your account information it is extremely uh, recommended it is very important that you enter a username and password and you know password hand to help you remember now for the sake of simplicity on this video I'm not gonna do that but again uh, please do so and, and you can go ahead if you want to just don't do it now and then do it afterwards but it's always recommended to have that password there so I'm just gonna click and finish and uh, we're going to uh, finalize the uh, the settings and again it, it will still take a, a few minutes for uh, the computer to uh, to be ready to to log on to Windows so this will take a while and, and one more time if you have installed Windows uh, 8 before then this uh, may be uh, familiar to you so let's just uh, sit down relax and, and wait a little bit more okay so this whole uh, the last part of here took like you know only like about uh, five minutes um, actually we can close this little window this is just basically an improvement of this ver uh, version of virtual machine and uh, uh, basically saying that the mouse and the keyboard are now integrated with the virtual machine um, okay so here it is finally Windows um, uh, 10 it's 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 installed a um, couple of things well so the start button is return and in the original version of Windows 8 this button was gone and then um, version 8.1 Microsoft put it back on Windows 10 now we have this uh, the best of the world so you have the apps um, you know, the start uh, menu with the apps that it's part of the Windows 8 and then we have the familiar the start button found on Windows 7 that people have loved for years and, and there was a lot of cry for this when Microsoft and Windows 8 uh, decided to take this out uh, they listened to people and then in, in version 10 they put it back um, so when you click on this thing you notice you know a couple of changes uh, one of the things is that the power button is now here so you know if you if you click there then you have either a shutdown or a restart um, you can uh, maximize this um, this window to make it look like this and if you want to go back then you can do this and then if you want to see all the apps on this computer you can click on uh, this little uh, link over here and um, 
uh, it's just a way to explore so just look around install Windows 8 and, and uh, I think that uh, it's a great design uh, I, I really like it there's a lot of uh, new features this video was basically about installing Windows 10 in uh, future videos then I will um, uh, talk about new features on Windows 10 and, and new stuff and um, that sort of thing so uh, thank you uh, very much for uh, watching this video and I hope that uh, uh, you find it entertaining and that you uh, learned something from it. Bye-bye.